Hey, look, it's Mike Evans. Mike Evans hey. comes in at number 12 with a consistency rank of number 12. Super consistent there. Uh, 13 games played, 67 for 11, 57, and 8 on 118 targets. Panic in the streets, weeks one and two. It's a weird season, Mike man. Evans is back, weeks three and four. Oh, wait, Chris Godwin's the guy week five. Oh, wait, Mike was Evans the guy week is, six. Was that the goose egg? It was. Oh, man. 23% of the time, which is a pretty high number. He had a week winning week. He had multiple number one overall performances. He had a number two against Seattle weeks eight and nine. He was the best wide receiver in football. 46% of the time, good games. He did bust 15% of the time. It was odd. It was strange for a team that passed that much. You would think Mike Evans, of all people, could come down with it. And he took advantage of bottom 16 passing defenses. He scored an extra, uh, what, the gap was 6.39 points between top 16 and bottom 16. Yeah, I mean, this it is... It was a weird year for Mike Evans. Weird. The meh games were plentiful for him. The games were... He didn't bust and kill you. Now, he did that a couple times like a goose. Uh, but he had a, he had a handful of those games that were meh. And the way that our scoring system works is that those really great games are factored into consistency as well, as well they should be, because, you know, that that pretty much helps your team when a guy has these big blow up games. But Mike Evans did enough this year. There were there were so many targets going around from Jameis to those two wide receivers where, where both were were absolutely excellent. But the question was asked last episode, would you rather have Mike Evans or Godwin going into next year? I think Andy and I we disagreed. I was on the Godwin side. Where where did you land? I'm on that I'm, I'm on Godwin side. Oh, you are. Yeah, I am. With the with the volume, the 67 receptions this year. I know he missed three games. Uh, I'm gonna lean Godwin. It's tough not to lean Godwin. I mean, we're we're in recency bias, but it. it, it or are we just gonna take whoever costs less? Uh, the truth is that Mike Evans was far less consistent. That's the truth. He was, and it's. What was nice about Tampa Bay, I mean, a breath of fresh air was, if like this was the Bruce Arian system. Like, just look at the Arizona Cardinals, and just copy paste that over to the the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when he moved. I mean, you need to throw in a few more interceptions because that was what they had to deal with with Jameis. But I mean, Chris Godwin was Larry Fitzgerald, where Larry was left for dead. By by most of us, and then Bruce Arians comes in and turns him right back into a thousand yard wide receiver because he's the slot guy. Yeah, I mean Evans is always a threat to lead the league in touchdown passes. Right, he's always a threat to. What did I say? Passes? <laughs> yeah, not helpful. It's all right. Not helpful. Uh, yeah, and touchdown catches. You know, not necessarily going to be a volume guy the way Godwin is. So I'm going to side on that consistency. I'm st I'm still into Evans. So the, the, please don't hear that I'm. Yeah, this is anti Mike Evans at all, but when you're constructing your team, so how do you look at them compared to like the dig stealing situations of years past, where you're like, do you just take the better draft value? Man, I, I think it's different. Godwin in the second versus Evans in the third. Well, so I feel I, like they're both just going to end up second round picks. Probably. You know, in, in the past, I was always Adam Thielen over Diggs right. because I wanted the targets. So it's a very, very similar situation. But here, there's more passing volume than what you're going to have in Minnesota. So I, I would rather have Godwin over even what I thought of Adam Thielen. Oh, what a day. Oh, hey, thanks for watching that highlight clip. If you want to see the whole video, you can click down there. If you want to subscribe, you can click over there. That's about all I have for you.